Now, listen, um, Cardi B is out there getting exposed by her makeup artist from her love and hip hop days and Nicki Minaj and Doja Keta out there reigning the female rap industry. Hello to lovers and welcome to the tea plug. Now first of all we are going to talk about this entire situation of Cardi B being exposed by her alleged stylist from her days when she was still starting out on love and hip hop. Now you guys, a certain lady came out and had a mouthful to say about Cardi B, basically explaining how she was such a terrible client and how she would allegedly refuse to pay for her makeup, 80 bucks for her makeup and her friend's makeup or something like that. And uh, yeah, she, she said quite a lot about this woman, the, about Cardi B, if I'm going to be honest. And she also said, oh, well, uh, Cardi, after seeing a picture of this woman's son, went on to say, is um, the son Chinese or is he mixed with Chinese because of his eyes? Now, I take it to mean that she was trying to basically insinuate that Cardi B was being, you know, the racist thingy. But like, personally, um, you know what? I actually don't like Cardi B like that. You guys know that. Like, I'm indifferent about her. Like, I don't, I'm not a fan of hers. However, I just have to say something. I really do find it weird. And she said, well, now I've gotten that out of my chest. And I'm like, okay, it's been years since Cardi was on Love and Hip Hop. And I, I didn't see the relevance of her saying that right now, okay? She could have said it back then, but she chose not to because of reasons best known to herself. Um, so I'm just like, no one cares about Cardi B, okay? I don't know if it's, um, they're trying to make us talk about her all the time. Like, this is not 2018 anymore. Uh, this is not 2019 anymore. We have moved on, okay? When you were supposed to be saying these things, you didn't say it. So now what makes you think that we care about that? Personally, I do not care about this entire Sunday, okay? I'm just, you know, saying it out for those of you who, of course, do care. Because I do understand that just because I don't care, care about, you know, a certain topic doesn't mean that everyone else doesn't care. Now, speaking for myself, I couldn't care less. Now, moving on to the next thing. Well, do hop into the comment section and let me know what you think about this entire situation. Do you think it's necessary? Do you think it's relevant? Or do you think that it's old news and we have moved past Cardi B, her alleged antics, and everything that she has to do with, in my own opinion. Now, moving on to the next thing, of course, that I'm going to be talking about, I will be talking about Nicki Minaj and Doja Cat. Now, Nicki Minaj and Doja Cat are out there making history, and you people always love to say, oh, oh my God, numbers don't lie, oh my God, numbers don't lie, and I'm like, well... They have never lied still to Nicki Minaj. Like, she beats you at the ribs. She beats you at, you know, talent, writing, at cadence, at spitting, at, like, personality. Like, I feel like her personality is very adorable. In my own opinion, she doesn't have to be over the top with the wretchedness in my own opinion so she's still relatable to the educator to the uneducator to the like she knows how to you know how to make her content be suitable for everyone else do you get what i'm saying for all age groups and for all people with different social classes so for that for me she will always be an icon now anyway back to what we were talking about okay i i kind of rumbled a bit there but like you know how it is like like i can't help like when each time i speak Nicki minaj's name praises come out of my mouth because i think she's excellent <laughs> so yes um Nicki minaj and doja cat are the highest okay um are the artists the female rap artists of course with the highest monthly listeners uh on spotify and um they are ranking at 1.5 billion herself and doja cat and honestly speaking i just want to say congratulations to both of them i feel like they truly deserve it and imagine raking 1.5 billion without any payola that has to be epic okay still remaining on top after a whole decade of running the game still pulling up all those numbers even after an entire industry machine is working against you 
now if that is not being blessed i do not know what is so you guys do hop into the comment section and let me know what you think about that now still talking about our uh, female rep we are going to be talking about asian doe signing to a new label now honestly speaking i do feel like asian doe is a very talented artist i feel like she can rap i feel like she can write i feel like she can hold her own when it comes to the mic and the pen however with asian as i've always said it over and over again the drama overshadows her do you understand what i'm saying i do understand that oh you know throwing those signs and doing all those things i guess that's her way of life i, I do not know i think that what that's what she identifies with but i feel like all that overshadows her actual talent and i do feel bad that she's not blowing up as she actually deserves now i'm just gonna be honest in this entire video you guys it is already tough for a dark-skinned female to basically go viral in the music industry um you know it wasn't easy for girls like megan like literally it has always been hard for that for them so like to see asian doe on top of the disadvantage that i that i in my own opinion think um her skin tone has she still goes ahead and does stuff that would still overshadow her talent now honestly speaking that really 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 is sad to watch and i do not care what people say but colorism is an actual thing in the female rap industry even if flo millie says that she hasn't experienced it herself i mean i do know that it does play a role to a certain extent to everyone else of course except flo millie because listen honey that is a truth okay but but I do know that that is not the true that is not true for all the other female rappers they have experienced it and so to see on top of you having that disadvantage to see you throwing these signs and letting the drama overshadow your your raps I feel like that's just in my own opinion unwise okay i feel like she could do better and she could be better heard i hope that the new deal that she signed they will assist her to care more about her craft to let her craft make more noise than her antics and her dating and all things like that do hop into the comment section and let me know what you think about that do you think that asian dolls career is probably going to you know um i don't know blow up now thank you very much for watching and thank you very much for making it this far if you haven't already what are you waiting for smash that subscribe button and do turn on the notification bell so that you'll be notified each and every time that i post i post each and every single day and i keep you updated on what is happening in the celebrity world on instagram on twitter and about all things trending now until my next one see you